Argus Wade and welcome everyone to Argus Feedback Kid Garden with me, Michelle Juno Wade. Of course, in this video feature, as the title says, we're gonna basically plant or sow some sorrel seeds. And you might have seen that I've done quite a few videos actually on planting the sorrel seed. But um, this one is actually quite interesting and different from how I'm accustomed of doing it. I had some sorrel seeds, um, dark red, rich dark red, like almost black red. Um, sorry, the seed someone gave me and uh, when I basically scrutinized the seeds I could see that majority of them looked like they would not have made it. They would not have germinated So I decided to try out the napkin and ziplock technique to ensure that I have a high success rate at least to germinate as much of the seeds as possible in here maybe have about uh, 50 seeds, but I'm quite sure if I get about 10 seedlings, I am very lucky. I can see some of them have germinated already. You may not be able to see it in this video. I can see some have already basically sprouted. So what we're going to do in this video, I'm going to open this for you to see, right? And I'm also going to have them basically transplanted in these um, recyclable um, planting pots. Of course, when they germinate, this will go straight into the ground and it will decompose. Okay, so I decided to try them out. Um, so that's what we're gonna use today. So come and get a closer look as I go ahead and open this up um, so that we could go ahead and transplant some of the sprouted seeds. And if you would also like me to do a video on how I basically did this, um, let me know in the comment section. I will go ahead and do it. I have some other sorrel. It's seeds, it's not the rich black ones, um, but I have some I could also try it out. But I mainly wanted these ones. I wanted a few plants. From these dark red um, sorrel um, okay thank you so very much let's go ahead okay guys um, so we're just gonna open it up okay so first thing I'm gonna do is remove the napkin as you I'm not sure if you could tell but it's actually wet okay it's actually wet as you see there's a lot of seeds in here as I'm watching through it I'm not seeing a lot of seedlings um, so I'm quite sure this was one of the best ideas to get a very high um, success rate for um, sprouting the soil seeds so I'm just gonna open it up like this I hope the video camera gets it okay and then we open it up like that oh okay okay so clearly as I said and as I guessed also um, a lot of them did not make it so I'm just going to thin out those which made it I can see here that we've got one one seedling two seedling three seedlings four seedlings five seedlings six seedlings seven seedlings eight seedlings nine seedlings 10. This one is it's really gone into the napkin there. 10 and this one 11. So we've got 11 seedlings and this one would not make it. Um, it did not make it. But look at how many seeds guys. And um, so basically all of these they, they, they were not good. Okay so we, we had a very low success rate um, but, but nonetheless that is good that we've got some seedlings that we can transplant. Okay. Um, I just did at least two of the soil um, plants to be successful um, to ensure that I get some more seeds for next year. So now I'm just going to wet the seed in um, the pot. Okay, can I use this tool? As you can see, it's designed in such a way that when you penetrate the soil, it spreads it apart so that the seedling or the seed um, could actually get enough space. So basically, 11 seedlings, better than none. I'm going to ensure that I try my best to focus on getting at least two plants to produce this year. It's very late into the season of course, um, but um, it was 
not an easy task okay but nonetheless so we got it in here right just gonna get another one in as you can see the seedling this one I'm not quite sure if you guys can see the hair follicles but that means it will send out new roots pretty quickly um, we're not gonna go down too deep we need to ensure that it remains at the top the, the new leaves stay exposed so that it could demand um, that the root system recovers quickly okay this one has a lot more hair follicles as you can see they have a lot more so it's going to basically do pretty well this one right here Okay guys, so here we have it. Our seedlings have been transplanted. As I told you, I basically germinated these seedlings through the napkin and ziplock bag technique. Um, when you are desperate to get your seeds to germinate, it's always good to use this technique. Um, it's very effective, this one. Um, but as you saw, a lot of the seeds were not good, so they did not make it, okay? Um, basically, these has been in the ziplock bag okay and napkin for about five days so those which germinated they are the only ones who basically will make it the others just will not make it so this will of course go into a compost bin um but right so here they are i hope that you guys enjoy this video so basically i'm also trying out these pots for the first time they will decompose when they are planted or placed into the soil so that's very good um so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video remember a bucket garden in some ways to keep the doctors away and Agus Wade is out. What we do here is go back, 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 back.